Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your NORCAST weather update. Brought to you by LEH Soap Company. Committed to hand-making natural skincare products in small batches. From vegan soap to our specialty bath line. Check out one of our five convenient locations in Atlantic and Cape May counties or visit us online at lehsoap.com. Well, here's a reminder that a heat advisory is in effect through the remainder of this afternoon and it will expire at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning and then be replaced by an excessive heat watch as humidity increases and we could see higher heat index values through tomorrow. But right now we're sitting at a nice and toasty 99 in Marlton, 98 in Media, 95 Glassboro in Hamilton, 93 Violin in Mays Landing as that sea breeze is starting to hit those areas and we are still seeing temperatures in the lower 80s for much of the shore. Heat index values making it feel a little bit warmer. 102 in Marlton, 100 in Media and Trenton, 97 in Glassboro and Hamilton, 96 Milan, 95 in Mays Landing, and look at that, 98 still in Tom's River. But it's all because we do have that southerly breeze, so it is staying a little bit warmer for areas towards the northern part of the we could see a couple of isolated showers and thunderstorms heading into this evening. You notice by about 5 o'clock, some showers and isolated storms do start to pop up, especially across the northern parts of the state. And then a little bit more activity could be seen as we head later into this evening. But I believe that will all wrap up as we head towards about 10, 11 o'clock tonight. And then you notice overnight we do get some patchy fog. That is what is showing up here. I think we stay mostly dry. I don't think we are going to see any showers like what this model is suggesting. But I did like the fact that it shows the fog heading into the overnight hours tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Then that will start to clear out. I believe we will start off with clear skies through tomorrow morning. Then some more clouds will build into the afternoon as a front does start to move into the area. So with these clouds, that's why I did drop the temperatures by a couple of degrees because the sun isn't going to be beating down as long. But don't get me wrong, it is still going to get hot. Temperatures still expected to be in the upper 90s, but it will be a bit cooler. But this front is going to increase our humidity levels, so that is why we have that excessive heat watch in place because check it out today dew points about 69 degrees up to 72 as that front does approach the area. So even with those higher dew points and a bit cooler temperatures, it is going to feel much worse just because of that higher humidity. Heat index values could be up to 108 to 110 degrees heading into tomorrow. So be sure that you're following all the proper heat precautions to protect yourself from this excessive heat. But like I said, more clouds build into tomorrow. Front starts to move in, so more showers through tomorrow evening and into your Monday that will drop our temperatures off slightly heading into the beginning of the week. Then another brief warm up for your Wednesday before another front does start to move in and I believe that will knock our temperatures back down into the 80s. That will definitely be a sweet relief compared to the temperatures that we have been seeing over the past several days. But I'll be back with another update later this evening. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday.